don't mind what is happening in social media they are always killing prophets that God sends to them they did it to Jesus Jesus looked at Jerusalem and Matthew and he said woe unto you Jerusalem that is busy killing the prophets sent to you all the time you are in the habit of killing the prophets sent to you this generation is also found in the same line of killing and stoning the prophets that God sent to them and that's the reason why a few days now since yesterday all over you have seen how they go on air and they are criticizing and speaking against senior prophet tb joshua and i want them to know irrespective of what they say there are so many of us who are alive today because of that man there are so many today that would have been dead we are it not for the miracle that god used that man to do if their own was fake my own is not fake if their own was fake ours aren't fake you didn't hear what i said now if theirs were fake your own is not fake because you got your miracle through the ministry of that young man of that great man of god if you got a miracle through his ministry wave your hand and said glory to god how many of you believe in senior prophet joshua do you believe i believe and i care less what they say glory be to god so all those things that they've been bringing out they've been speaking ill of him they cannot deny the proof of what god used that man to do in the lives of so many people both living and dead but one thing i want you to know in this life there is nobody that is perfect if you can pick on somebody's mistake to judge that person who are you that is judging another person are you perfect you who is pointing finger talking against one or two things that the man did that was wrong is he not was he not a human being you see the problem we have with this world they expect so much from you they want you to even become god you can't be god there is a man before god that's why they say man of god you didn't hear what i said please stand up and celebrate the ministry of senior prophet tb joshua i say celebrate that legend celebrate that great man of god that legend celebrate his grace be obinoze celebrate him even when he's no more because what he has planted is still growing the great seed he planted is still growing is still germinating come on give a shout glory be to god don't be surprised of what is happening on social media don't be surprised because people that crucified jesus what did he do for them to crucify him what did jesus do eh? for healing their sick jesus said of which work are you stoning me of my good works of healing their sick raising their dead opening the eyes of their blind yet they killed him and after they killed him they put soldiers around his tomb and they paid them to tell lies 
that the disciples came and stole the body away while they were asleep can imagine human being if they can do it to our lord and savior how much more his son or his boy senior prophet tb joshua so whatever they are paying them whatever they are giving them to make them if they like bbc is not enough they should go and bring cnn cnn is not even enough they should join Al Jazeera to it let them do all what they want to do god till tomorrow is still doing great work even till tomorrow miracles are still happening there now that he's dead who is doing that one celebrate god of senior prophet tb joshua please be seated so in all i will always be identified with that great man of god and i care less what anybody is saying God will always send men as prophets. And I want you to know don't joke with the ministry of the prophets. Because the prophetic ministry is one of the greatest ministries that, you know, it was spoken about Jesus concerning in the prophecy when Angel Gabriel came to meet Mother Mary in Matthew chapter 2. Jesus was born in Matthew chapter 1 after the genealogy of Jesus explanation the angel visited Mary and he told Mary that he was going to conceive and have a son and will bring forth a son and shall be called Emmanuel and this son is going to be for a sign that shall be spoken against so every prophet carries a sign that is spoken against if they don't speak against you you are not a true prophet they must speak against you that is an emblem a logo of a true prophet they will fight you they will speak against you because you are the one who dares the devil you are not hearing me prophets dare the devil they inside their fingers into the eyes of the devil and devil always instigate men to speak against them and the bible speaking said there shall be a sign that will be spoken against because of this son that you're going to have it's going to be a great song quickly this morning are you ready are you ready oh i'm not sure you're ready where's your prophet some of you don't even know who your prophet is. I say, who is your prophet? If Obino Zay is your prophet, I want you to demonstrate it. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory. All right. Be seated. The reason why I ask you who is your prophet so that you know who your prophet is. In Exodus chapter 7 verse 1 The Lord speaking to Moses said to him I have made thee a God over Pharaoh. And at the end he said Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Exodus 7 verse 1 He said I have made thee a God unto Pharaoh. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God unto Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. So it's important to understand who thy prophet is. Very necessary. Because if you don't understand who thy prophet is, you can't have your restoration. Prophets are men who pray for restoration in people's lives. Genesis 20 verse 7. The Lord spoke to Abimelech to restore Sarah back to Abraham. He said, let him pray for you because the man is a prophet and as he pray for you you'll be restored then you'll be able to have what you're looking for in life thy wife will conceive and they'll have children genesis 20 verse 7. so you understand that the ministry of the prophets is very very important 
Now therefore restore the man's wife for he is a prophet. Prophets are agents of restoration. Can I say prophets are agents of restoration. Their work is to pray for people. Look at it there. And he shall pray for thee. The works of the prophets is to pray for people and when they pray for people and thou and if thou and if thou restore her not know that thou shall surely die and thou and all thy house when prophets are out declaring through prayer for your release anyone now listen this is one aspect of the prophetic ministry you must understand anyone who says no when prophet declares will have himself or herself to be blamed because what follows next is death when prophets declare or speak heaven rises up instanta to restore things either in the area of health that's why i've come here today as i speak your health shall be restored and if they refuse to restore your health, they shall be dead. Yes. 